I got a question for you, just between you and me. Are you a uh, tease? Do you kind of lead your audience on so they'll lean forward hoping to hear more, or do you just lay it all out there? All right, this is a G-rated video, so don't let your mind take you elsewhere. Here's what I mean by tease. Many speakers often give away the end of their speech right up front. They don't entice their audience to want to hear more by hinting at what's to come, but not really telling them. What do I mean? What's an example of this? Well, when I'm talking about storytelling, I could come right out front and say, here are the three steps to creating a basic story format, and here are the seven steps that you can use to create a compelling narrative. I could say that and then quickly give them the three points and the seven steps, or I could say, in the next 20 minutes, you're going to learn the three foundational steps for any memorable story, and you'll pick up the seven keys to crafting a narrative that grabs people's attention, keeps their interest, and makes them want to hear you all the way to the end. And most importantly, they'll take action on your message. Now, of the two, which is the more compelling? Now, obviously, it's the second one. Now, think about this. I haven't really told the audience anything. I've only hinted at it or teased. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a common problem I see with speakers. They don't hint and just leave a little taste and so the audience will lean forward and say, okay, tell me more. I want to hear what you have to say. You set that up by offering some benefit, some specificity, three steps, seven keys, and the audience will want to hear more. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.